Hello everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We have almost done everything in the game. We've got this nice silver crown on our head, we've cleared the data organization. We only really have two bonus bosses left in order to beat the game. Or beat the game, in order to get everything in the game, essentially. Now, the hardcore Kingdom Hearts 2 fans might be like, wait, Artie, what do you mean you have two bonus bosses left? Don't we only have one left? Well, we have one true bonus boss. The other one's kind of like a filler, less important one. It's a gummy ship boss. So that's going to require us to do some of the extra gummy ship missions, which we haven't even touched upon yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go off to the final gummy ship mission, which is Assault of the Dreadnought, and we're going to attempt this again. We're going to proceed for the Assault of the Dreadnought. First thing we're going to do is go to our gummy editor. We're going to edit our uh, donut. <laughs> All right, the cost limit of the gummy ship has increased by another 100. Oh, sweet. All right. How many weapon gummies do we have? <laughs> if, we have if we have any more weapons we can put on, I'm going to. All right. All right. I think we can put on like a one more gun. Why not? It'll be fun. Uh, let's put it right there. I don't think we can put on any more guns than that. So, to compensate now, we're going to place some more regular old gummies here. Give us a little more defense. Because this gummy ship bonus boss is actually, like, really difficult. It's, like, the only difficult part of a gummy ship level. Alright. We can put on two more blocks there and there. Excellent. We'll save that over the original donut. And now we're actually going to start. So, there are several different missions for a gummy ship. The first mission is a metal hunt, where you have to gather the number of metals indicated, so basically collect as many metals as you can. Where the second mission is a destroy as many enemies as you can type of mission. We're going to go on the metal hunt first. And at this point we've got the high wind peak, we've got falcon level 8, high wind level 8. The Highwind Peak is decent, but, I mean, come on, it's not going to be anywhere near as good as our gummy ship. And we're going to take our two little teeny ships, and let's go. So now we're going to have a ton of HP and just obliterate everything, and everything's going to shoot right through us. Alright, collect as many medals as we can. We actually shoot down some of these ships if we're good enough. So what's interesting about the gummy ship missions is some of the gummy ship missions actually change the level a little bit. So like, the enemies will be different, or you might go to different places. So it's actually kind of interesting. I played through all these gummy ship missions on my own time different file, of course, and I was actually surprised the gummy missions in this are pretty fun, <laughs> especially once you learn that the donut is the ultimate. So it looks like we're going back in the Dreadnought again. Alright, so at this point we've gotten to at least an E rank in the mission, because we've collected a bunch of medals. And as we collect more medals, we'll get a better rank. The goal is to get to an A. <laughs> can't stand up against the might of the Donut. Alright, we're at rank D now. Let's see if we can up that rank a little bit, because we're getting close to the end of the mission. <laughs> Alright, we're up to a C now. 
getting to the first rank is the toughest. After that, you just have to collect a little bit more out of your rank. Alright, now we're at the core. We can get a ton of metals by hitting the core, which is going to be great. Oh yeah, we're up to a B rank now. Alrighty, we destroyed the core. Oh yeah, okay, so we can actually get up to the S rank as well. Yeah! Get off of me. Take that! And now the Dreadnought explodes. And that's mission one. Mission complete. And we get the Falcon Peak Blueprint. And the Invincible Peak Blueprint. And now we can take on the level one EX mission if we want. Get a cost converter, meteor, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, and the Mushroom Model Ship. There's special bonus blueprints in the game that you can get by clear getting really good scores on certain missions. Anyhow. Let's go back to the gummy menu. So, at this point we could do the EX mission, where it's fly a gummy ship with two or more Ultima gummies, which is basically like a set of restrictions. Sometimes clearing the EX missions can give you special blueprints. None of them are as good as the donut, though. Now we're gonna go on to le mission level two, which if memory serves, this is where we're gonna fight the bonus boss. And it can be, it can be a tough fight. Even with the donut, I'm a little hesitant to see if I will actually be able to beat it. Mission level two, defeat the target number of enemies. So this mission is actually going to be quite different. As you can see, we're turning around at the very beginning to deal with all of these enemies. So even if the overall path of the level is pretty similar, the enemies will be quite different. And as you can see, yeah, we're getting, having to dodge like lasers being shot at <laughs> by the dreadnoughts. Destroy the special enemy, so we get a special neon warp. Don't know what that's for. Half of these gummies are just decorative and not good. One bad thing about the donut is it can be tough to pick up the metals because the metals will also fly right through your donut ring. So you actually have to move into them. Building a ship basically just out of guns. <laughs> Not gonna be very structurally stable, but boy howdy does it look and function great. Actually, it doesn't look that great. <laughs> this ship is a mess. It's like, that's our ship? Trust me, it's the best. It looks like a donut! Trust me, it's the best. <laughs> yeah, so the, the mission level, as you can see, is actually a decent bit different. Which is, and that's actually well done, the developers. Good job.
heading to the core pretty soon, though. There it is. Let's get rid of this core. And, of course, the hub rankings as well. We've got to increase that rank, you know. Oh, we're only at rank C? Oh, that's pretty bad. Slash gummies suck. The slash gummies are basically like every few seconds you can press a slash button to potentially like destroy a bunch of the enemies, but honestly, guns are much better because they're so caught. <laughs> oh, gotta get out of the way of this laser. The slash gummies are too expensive for maybe more okay? Guns are just better. Okay. No bonus boss for that mission, I guess. Mission complete. Yeah. Obtain mission level free. I think that must be the one. And we get the invincible level 6 blueprint. For some reason. Alright, we did not get an S rank for that one. Alright. one over. I'm going to make a slight modification to the donut. I believe we might have... Nope. Still maxed out. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. Because I'm still going to make some modifications. Specifically this gun here, that might not be the best. Uh oh, does that cost too much? Cost 71? Oh yeah. There we go. It's not... Oh wait, I want to save it. Not exactly symmetrical now, but hopefully with that gun no longer hanging down the middle, I'll get hit a little bit less. Anyhow. Mission level 3. Level 3 missions are high score runs. Use L1 and R1 to control the camera. That's right, this is where we fight the bonus boss. This is actually where the mission gets tough, because no longer will the camera auto-change when there are enemies approaching. You have to do it manually, and that's actually pretty, it's pretty cool, but also pretty tough. But I totally want to do that, because... But why would you not want to do that? This is where we're going to face off against the bonus boss, and this is where we're going to show level 3 missions. Aim for the top score for mission level 3, and you have to use L1 or R1 to move the camera. Thankfully, you will get, like, an alert, like, an exclamation point, like, either behind you or, like, your left and right to let you know to control the camera. Yeah, so alert behind us. we got to turn the camera manually in order to fight off these guys. And this is going to be also a different mission compared to the other ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see the, on our icon there was a little radar saying, Hey, there are people behind you, doofus. Ooh. Aw. Did it beat gold ship. And as you can see, this is where it's going to be really nice to be able to... <laughs> Have the donut where every enemy basically shoots right through you. Sometimes you'll be you know, facing enemies from multiple directions and you kind of got to prioritize which direction that you want to be focusing on. Definitely a bit tougher than basically every ever gummy ship mission in the game. But I do really like the manually change the camera. Alright, jeez. The enemies are just like, there he is. Get him. Imagine how difficult this would be if you didn't have the donut.
Yeah, even with the donut, I'm still missing a bit of HP. That should, that should tell you how tough this is going to be if you don't have the donut. Alright, this room is awesome with the manual camera. Because enemies basically come at you from every direction. And you also kind of want to focus on shooting the core. But you also want to focus on the enemies making sure that you are just shooting them down before they can shoot you down. Oh man, we're only up to an E rank? Oh, we are not doing well, folks. <laughs> Alright, well, we're up to a D now. Can I get a health refill before we're facing off against the bonus boss? This is the bonus boss! This is Hunter X! He's gonna say, no, we're not going into the keyhole. And watch how much stuff he shoots! And again, most of this is getting shot right through us. If we didn't have the donut, we would be taking an insane amount of damage right now. All of that is getting shot through our donut hole. Even with the donut, there's a chance that I'm gonna die here. Yep! <laughs> Hunter X means business. <laughs> and now we gotta go through the whole level again if we wanna fight him. Great. Use the radar to see incoming enemies from all sides, stupid. <laughs> Alright, back to Hunter X. This time I'm gonna start doing the lock on attacks rather than just the regular laser attacks. with mashing the barrel roll button. Dunk on it! I was mashing barrel roll and it was... Man, just nothing. Alright, well I'm at very low HP going into Hunter X this time, so this will probably be another failure. strategy for Hunter X, I'm going to try to always be right in front of him. Because he moves around a little bit, and also the lock-on doesn't seem to be working for him very well. So I'm going to stick to just the regular old cannons. Just gonna pull a barrel roll everywhere. Spamming barrel roll everywhere I go. No, don't, don't it! All right, this round is doing a good deal better because I turned on full auto, which means I can just hold the fire button and it'll automatically fire, and it also auto lock on if I'm not. 
holding the fire button. Anyhow, this also makes it easier to barrel roll while shooting. Hopefully this can give me an edge against Hunter X today. I was always impressed that they were able to get this many bullets on screen without crashing the game. Maybe a lot of these bullets don't actually have hit detection. I'm gonna barrel roll constantly. There we go. That's how you dodge the laser attacks. There's a pattern to them. Man, this guy's a lot of HP though. If you're willing to level up the dummy ship so you can equip a ton of blocks, he gets a lot easier. Otherwise, he's one of the toughest bonus bosses in the game. Die, bro. I gotta make some modifications. I have to. All right. I've constructed a new gummy ship, the Donut 2. It has like no weapon gummies except for lock-on gummies. So hopefully this will help me out with the boss so I can lock onto him just a whole bunch of times. I also have these new little gummy ships where instead of them having the lock-on gummies, they have the weapon gummies. And let's see how this goes. I also should have a bit more HP. I don't particularly care about getting a good score, I just want to survive. And these lock up gummies will do a whole lot more damage to Hunter X. And the common enemies, let's be honest, as long as I stay in one place, they really can't do a whole lot to me. I haven't even thought of. Oh my gosh. I'm not even sure if I've selected gummy ship abilities. Alright. Hang on a second. Oh. Well, that would have been nice. I forgot about the gummy ship abilities. Oh, doggone it. All right, well, no, 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 no. You know what, you know what, no, no, this, this could work. So we're gonna go back to the original donut. We're gonna have to free up a couple slots, which means removing some of our armor, but that's okay. For a good cause. Very, very good cause. We're just gonna have one outer layer of stuff. There we go, all right. Yeah, there are abilities. Cannon upgrade increases the damage dealt by cannon attacks. Uh, yeah, if I have all that, all of the... <laughs> Heck yeah, I want that. 
Oh, I only have a little bit of AP, though. Laser, don't need that. Heal upgrade, increase the recovery effect of HP, or auto regen. Recover over time! Yes, I need that! Oh my gosh, that would be so nice. Fires flavors automatically when hit by enemy attacks, that could also be nice. Formation change. Oh, yeah, that could be really nice. Allows you to leave one teeny shit behind and add its cost to the gummy. Wow! Am I out of ability? I, I am. Can I add more AP? That cockpit sucks. Oh, we need this. I don't care about gummy ship speed. I just want a cool cockpit with good stats. Oh, dang, yeah. If you level up the gummy ship, uh... These abilities get a lot better. Okay, cannon upgrade is good. Increases damage dealt by cannon attacks, because that'll make my regular cannons just way better. Auto regen, recover HP over time, that will really help for Hunter X. And the formation change will allow me to concentrate the power of my fire with my teeny ships. Oh my gosh! This would have been so much better! Oh, I'm, I'm ticked about that actually a little bit, that I completely forgot about that. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for so long. Maybe I could have beaten it by now if I... Oh, I can't do it. Maybe you can't equip that. Fine, I'll... I don't want... No, 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 I don't want the, ti the tiny ships. If the kid has the full on cannons, all right. Which cannons is this one not using? It's using a lot of them. All right, I can use two of these, one, one, two. Okay, two, one, one, two, all right. All right, it took a lot of editing, but I finally have my new donut and two mini gummy ships. We got all the abilities, we got the cannon upgrade, auto regen, and now I can use, uh, I can rearrange my mini ships. Changing formation, use L2 and R2 to change the formation of the teeny ships. So what I can do is I can put them right next to my main ship and just create a colossal cluster of cannons. And we're just gonna incinerate everything in our path. <laughs> All the while, we're going to be getting HP back over time. Yeah! We no longer have lock-on gummies, however, that should be okay, because again, with this concentrated arena fu look at this. When, look at all the blasts. I just obliterated that golden ship in less, literally like 0.2 seconds, and it used to take me a lot longer than that. So this is uh, hopefully going to deal a whole lot more damage against Hunter X, and will negate the need for my lockdown gummies, especially because each one of these blasts is now dealing extra damage thanks to the cannon upgrade ability that I've equipped. Wow, I could have saved like a whole hour of attempts if I had just done this earlier. Anyways, now we're going to see the magic of gummy ship abilities and the true power of the donut. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're just melting everything. We are fairly slow now. But that's okay. I'd rather be slow and powerful with a lot of HP than the alternative. <laughs> than fast with none of that. I also learned that you can press the L1 and R1 button at the same time in order to quickly do a 180. Granted, it's not really any faster than just tapping the L1 or R2 or R1 twice. But it feels good to do that. Oh yeah, oh this feels so much better. I was wondering why Hunter X was being such a pain, because I've beaten him before and he wasn't that bad. I've completely forgot about gummy ship abilities. I thought, I didn't forget about them, I thought I already had them equipped. Then I decided on a window to check, and no, I never equipped gummy ship abilities. Which makes sense, because I didn't really use the gummy ship at all during my main Let's Play. Oh man, yeah, we're already up to an E rank, and we haven't even reached the core room. Oh yeah, we're doing so much better than we have been. And we have a whole lot more HP. Because <laughs> again, auto regen. If there's one ability that you're going to want for Hunter X, it's auto regen. And again, as you level your gummy ship up, you'll be able to put more abilities, and you'll also unlock new abilities. Or do you have to rank C? Can we destroy the core? 
That would be great if we could destroy the core. We destroyed the core! We get the metal converter. I believe that, oh, that's an ability that I believe will convert metals, not all of them, but some of the metals you get into health. Which is also very nice. But it won't really help us for Hunter X, because no metals are even dropped during the Hunter X fight. Alright, now we get to face Hunter X. Oh, yeah. See, having tiny ship formation right next to your main ship will just basically allow you to equip a whole bunch of guns to your main ship. <laughs> just make this really concentrated rate of fire. Alright, alright, Hunter X. I'm not really scared of you anymore. I think we're already at an S rank, judging by the glowing of my gun. <laughs> Beat my cannons! harder to bring down than How is my gummy ship not taking damage? I don't know, but that's just the power of the donut. Seriously, why is he not dead yet? Oh! Straight part of him. Yeah, there we go! We get the secret model. Die, Hunter X! And he was actually a full on Heartless. You saw that heart that just went up. Granted, I think a lot of the ships are Heartless as well, but still. Woohoo! Mission complete! Piece of cake! Piece of cake, Sora! We died like 20 times to it. We get the Invincible level 7. We already have Invincible Peak. And we get a Viraga G, Meteor G, all that stuff. Oh, we got an A rank now, that's rank. Oh well. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the general idea of the Gummy Ship missions. First one is collect as many medals as possible. Second one is defeat as many enemies as possible. Third one is just get the best score you can. And you manually control the camera. And that is the Hunter X bonus boss. He is the only bonus boss of the Gummy Ship missions. So we're going to end the video there. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm Car40. Tune in next time. It'll be the final bonus episode of this Let's Play. We are going to Disney Castle to take on the true ultimate bonus boss, and he is the toughest one of all. Oh man, like, if, if you thought, you've probably seen all this and be like, oh come on, like, we're basically invincible at this point, how could this guy be any worse? Oh, oh, just, just you wait and see. Look forward to that next time, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.